you have a product that you really want to pursue and your future competitor is making thousands of dollars every single month and you're not sure where these sales are coming from. By the end of this video, you will know exactly how to find your competitor's keywords from where they're getting their sales so that you can look further into these niches to see if this is a good product to move further with. In my channel, I share my very own Amazon FBA journey, also Amazon FBA tips, and just anything that I'm learning from life. So if you like to follow my journey, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for when I release a new video every week. Hi, I'm Robbie. I'm a six-figure Amazon FBA seller that started selling less than a year ago, and I use these quick and easy methods that I'm about to share with you to find my competitors' keywords, and it's helped my products each reach over $30,000 per month in sales. So now it's your turn to learn how to do that. So this is gonna be a really quick video. The tool that I use is Helium 10. If you want to try Helium 10, I have a referral link for 50% off your first month. The link is in the description below. So there are two methods that I wanna share with you so that you can find your competitors and your potential products, keywords and search terms so that you can see one, how competitive your main competitors, main keywords are and two, if this is worth pursuing. Remember, sometimes a keyword that you think your competitor is making all of their sales from might not be the keyword that you think it is. So you may find a keyword where there is little competition and you think your competitor is making all their sales from. It is possible that they are not making many sales from this low competitive niche slash keyword, where in reality, they're making thousands and thousands of dollars from a really, really high competitive niche where there are hundreds of established products there with really high ratings and they're making thousands and thousands of dollars in sales where it'll be really, really hard for a brand new product to get into this niche. That's why doing keyword research is really important to product research. High competitive niches are possible to get into. Just know that you're going to have to pay a lot of money in advertising in order to rank your product on the top of the first page. This is why I recommend you Start off with a really, really low competitive niche for your first product because it's less risk for yourself and you're just starting out. So what is a competitive keyword? To me, a competitive keyword is anything with a high search volume. So that's like anything over 15,000 searches per month and where the ratings of all the products on the first page is over 4.8 stars and the reviews is over 300 reviews on all the products. And if they're uh, listing and they're the listing is fully optimized. They have beautiful pictures. You see that their product is fully described in the bullet points. Their title is fully optimized, meaning they have all the keywords and it's not really short. It's a really nice long title. Um, and if their products all look different, it's gonna be really hard for you to differentiate yourself and stand out. A low competitive keyword is anything to me, anything under 5,000 searches per month, a rating of four stars to 4.5 stars, reviews under 300 on the top 15 to 20 products. And if all the products look the same, it's gonna be really easy for you to stand out with your own product. And lastly, a really, really crappy listing, meaning that it's not fully optimized. So like the title is really short, the bullet points are really short, and or the pictures look really crappy and amateur. Amateur, amateur. If you have any questions on how to find your competitors' keywords or anything on Amazon FBA in general, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. This first way is really, really easy to do. It takes less than one minute. It's pretty accurate because I tested my products on this and the, the keywords that pop up from this tool is where I get the majority of my sales from. The tool is called List Listing Analyzer. So the way we get to it in Helium 10 is the toolbar on the left side, the tabs, you click on Listing Optimization and then you click on listing analyzer. And the way we're gonna do it is you just uh, copy and paste your ASIN here. So let's just say we're gonna use this tool set as an example, right? So we copy the ASIN and then you just click analyze. So what this shows you, the listing analyzer, is how optimized this product is so everything that's in green here is what's good and everything that's red is what needs to be improved. So you could do this with your own product to improve your product listing. Another thing that's really cool is that it shows 
the market analysis. So how well this product is doing against the rest of the market. And another thing that we could do is we could compare this competitor with another competitor if you have more than one competitor. So that's what's really cool. But the main thing that we're after, I'll show you how to do that afterwards, but the main thing that we're after is the keywords, right? So when you go below, it shows all the keywords that this product is doing, getting its majority of its sales from. Um, this is not 100% accurate, but this is pretty, pretty damn accurate. Um, anyways, so let's just say you want to compare a direct competitor. Let's just say that this guy is one of your other direct competitors, right? So what we do is we take this, we enter it in a new product here, and then we click add, and then you analyze it. And then what this does is shows both of the products, how they are doing against each other and how they're doing against the rest of the market, which is really good too. So it shows how both products are doing together. See, they're both messed up in here, but my bullet points are in caps too, so that doesn't really matter. And then it shows this part and it shows how it's doing against the market. And what you could do at the bottom, it shows what keyword these both competitors are targeting. So this might be a good keyword for you to target for your product and to do further research to see if this niche is good for you. Uh, you could do one or the other. So if you wanted to compare it yourself like this, you could do it like this, which is fine, right? And then let's say we wanna go a little further into diving into the keywords because we wanna see if this is still a good product to go for. So what we wanna do is click on Cerebo. Let me just exit this one out. All right, so what we want to do is we wanna click on continue in Cerebro. So you could either do it by clicking down there or you could reach Cerebro, Cerebro by clicking on a keyword research and click on Cerebro. And then you could copy and paste your ASIN here. So what Cerebro does, it, it shows you all the keywords that this product is ranked for. Over here, it shows the organic rank, right? Uh, it also shows you the keywords that it's ranked for, for that specific keyword. And I wanna note that sometimes organic ranking, the top of page, even if, if it, they're on the top of the first page, if they don't have enough demand, meaning the search volume is really low, but you see over here, 274, 88, I highly doubt they're gonna get a lot of sales from these keywords. So sometimes you could look at rankings where they're ranked like rank 30 or 40. If the search volume is really, really, really high, like 30,000 searches per month, there's a chance that they're gonna get a bunch of sales from that uh, keyword still. So these tabs up here, you can actually sort the tabs by clicking on them. So if I click on search volume, it's gonna sort the search volume from highest to lowest. So it shows really, really high search volume keywords, right? 300,000 searches for toolbox. Baby Toys has 200,000 searches per month. So you know there are a lot of sales gonna be coming from this niche, but you see that the rankings are really, really high, right? So 200, 100, you know that's still like on page like two or three or four. So we've gotta go a little digger, um, deeper in and filter out these the rankings. So what you can do now is you could uh, set the maximum ranking to 50. So you don't want to go higher than 50 because that's the first page. So you can click on that and it'll show you rankings that are, see over here, they're in rank 18 for a 13,000 search volume keyword. First birthday gifts for boys. That's really good. They're probably getting a lot of sales from this niche. Also another one, 48, which is at the bottom of the first page. First birthday gifts for boys. 9,000 searches, that's really good still. Even this one, they're ranked 14. So they're like at the middle of the first page. Toddler tool set, that's 7,000 searches per month. That's really, really, really good, right? So this, this basically shows you how well they're doing in these, key, in these keywords. And what you wanna do next is you want to look through these keywords to see how the competition is doing. So, so you would like look through this further 
and see how the niche is doing by clicking on the x-ray and stuff like that but that's not the the reason of this video so you could do that on your own um but let's say next you want to sort out by another thing you want to look at is sponsored ranking because um, if they're on the top of the first page, you know that those are the sales that they really, really want. And they're paying for that top spot. So you you sort out the, the sponsored rank. And these are probably, most of these are the ones that they really want. So this one, 1,800 searches per month. You know that that's a keyword that, that they get a lot of sales from. This one also, baby tool set, 2,400 searches, sponsored rank one right these other small search volume the reason why they're on the top of the first page is because there's not that much demand so to pay for that top spot it doesn't cost that much money but for this 2400 search term uh searches per month search term you know that they really want that spot um so if you want to see a keyword with enough demand usually i do a minimum of 500 searches per month you can go below that maybe below like 300 is way too low unless this keyword is super super specific and relevant to your product then i wouldn't really look into those niches with under 500 but if it's really really specific to your keyword and you know that you can get all your sales from that keyword then you could look further into those keywords but then here here you go that's it so search volume 500 and it shows you everything that's a minimum of 500. And then you can see how the ranking is for that product here. So that's really good. Oh, that's it guys. If you need any help with Amazon FBA, I have a Facebook group where we discuss everything Amazon FBA. So if you'd like to join, the link is in the description below. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't checked these videos out already, be sure to check them out because they'll be really helpful for you. And I'll catch you soon. Take care.